we start drinking and as soon as we ingest that alcohol, we have a dopamine overload. 10 times the amount of dopamine is delivered by drinking than it is through regular happy activities. 10 times. 10 times. Wow. So it's a huge surge of dopamine. Mm. What happens after the dopamine high wears off is our body is scrambling to return to homeostasis, which is a nice set point. That state of contentment, you know, you're not, you're not too high, you're not too low, you're steady, mm -hmm. homeostasis. Uh, lots of other chemicals are released uh, to get us back to a baseline. So we're, our body's scrambling to counteract that huge dump of dopamine. Over time, our brain becomes accustomed to having that huge surge of dopamine and our brain gets lazy. It says, why are you going to go on a hike? I mean, okay, you've already done that hike. What's another sunset? Yada, yada, yada. Cute dog playing with the kids. Okay, they're so adorable. When can I get my drink? Mm. It's because your brain has become lazy. It says, I don't really need to produce dopamine because I'm going to get a big old serving of it. When that doesn't happen, that can produce the cravings. Mm. And we've all been there. You might feel like a bad person if you are rushing through a dinner to get home to finish and, and, and have those extra three glasses of wine. You might feel like a horrible parent if you're playing ball with your kid, but you, how much longer do I need to play so I can go have a drink? Normally, those activities would provide enough pleasure that you would feel content and happy. But because the brain's gotten lazy, those normal activities aren't registering as pleasurable anymore.